I might get copyright for this, but uh, first little vlog for tonight. Uh, actually, first vlog for today. I've just not vlogged at all. So, because I've been allowed to finish earlier, I'll get home earlier. Um, 11 minutes till the 537 comes, which goes to Elland. So I could just hop off at Brooksburg School and then just walk down the hill. <sighs> that was really random as well. We had a little, sort of random little girl come up to go that and then walk off. Like, what? Why? 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 Let me see it. Um, nine minutes. Oh, it'll be eventually. Well, I ain't exactly seen any, like, women slash girls in, like, very short clothing and, like, rocket heels, like, because I'm saying that because whenever we've done a late shift with it be a 511 or a 5R there's been this there's been that opportunity where people have just worn as little as they can and some get away with it only just and some just don't and yeah you, you can't risk doing that sort of thing in public why <clears throat> I've took my hat off because I was just getting really warm so I just took it off. One thing people want to be careful of around here is just driving like a knob. Like, yes, there's not many people around on the road and traffic lights there are red, but does it mean you have to drive like an idiot and go through the red lights? No. No, it doesn't. I think my bus is here now. I need to sort my hair out. But look at this. It's just me. It's just me. I'm on a 537, which normally during the day is a first bus, but during the night it is a Yorkshire Tiger bus. Uh, <coughs> yes, yeah, so um, I don't know how many people are going to get on. Because the thing is, usually people are going on a bus into Halifax because of being, Halifax being like the place you want to be during the night time. Not for me, it isn't. Uh, with people party and getting drunk and etc etc um, so I'm kind of curious to know <coughs> how many people will get on at the bus uh, during the time that I get on because it goes through well and I'm curious to know how many people get on and there's people getting on because I've just jinxed it Hi, so new day it's still overcast I think it feels a bit warmer than yesterday. Like it's still not warm, but it feels warmer at least. Uh I managed to do my shift. I really thought I couldn't before. Um I'm actually gonna say what happened. So like I went in and I was like whoa god like I just felt like quite like felt quite lightheaded and um I went in and my my, my boss said something to me, I just couldn't tell what it was. So I just literally got on, went upstairs and just did the best I could. Uh, <coughs> and said, you know you shouldn't be in, right? And I went, well, if I'd have rang in, then I've still, I, I would have probably got told off again for being ill. I'm like, why? I'd have still got told off for being ill. Like, like how does that even work? So like, I was like, no, I wanted to come in. Because I need, I need to come in. Like, no, I'm not well, no. But, I can't just not come in. I need to try. And it got to, like, like, up until beyond my, up until my break, when I had my break and I had something to eat, I felt much better. And I literally got the most calorific stuff there. Because... I needed food, man. Um, but no, I'm probably if I feel that way, I'm just I'm still gonna get like something like that on uh, what do you call it on Monday? I'll just I've just re I realise now it's a small. I've got a small appetite, so like even with breakfast, like I literally had like a full bowl of cereal, 
and I only hit, I only ate like a quarter of it. So I only eat like that much now. So I literally wrapped it up and then put it back in the fridge. And then I'll, whenever I want some more cereal or, or some more food, I've got that in the fridge and just carry on eating that. Uh, but yeah, what else is there? Um, today is the start of the Sunto on Strava challenge. 90 minutes in nine days. Which I should be able to do. You can, it, it was advised like, oh, you can either do it in one go or three 30 minute activities. Which sounds realistic for me because I would take the dogs out three times a day for roughly 30 minutes a day. Unless for some reason I ended up just doing like a, a massive walk. That's a recommendation anyway. I can, I'm just going to end up doing what I do for the, that, that period of time and aim to complete it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, something else that happened yesterday. Right, so when, I've mo when I do upstairs, we have a stage area, and when you close that off, there's no need for a wet floor sign, because, well, you're shutting that section off. So you're mopping it fully, right? And one of our antisocial behaviour people, who is barely 10, which strikes me as, wow, that is such a surprise. Uh, and then I was like, I was like, okay, 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 right. He ran onto the stage where it was still wet and fell. And I went, do you know you're not as clever as you look? And people, and he fell. I could hear him go boom to the ground. And I was like, do you know, that's not, a, do you know, I said for once in my life, I'm actually glad I've not put a white floor sign up. And that doesn't, that might sound a little harsh, I know, but when you've got to understand this kid is the worst behaviour kid I've not, I've seen in a long time, I'm glad he fell. And I heard, when you heard the boom noise, it was quite a relief. And he it might, it might learn from that. He might learn. Oh, wet, we might learn from that. I wonder what you were doing then. <laughs> uh, yeah, and also as well, like there was a few customers saying, like, you don't look well enough to be in. I said, no, but I have to try. I can't not be at home and just sit on the sit at home and do nothing and rest. I have to somehow try. <laughs> and they were like, oh, can you speak? Can we speak to your manager then? I said, I guess you could, yeah. And do you know? A few customers had a complaint towards my manager. I was like, this is different. So the music system, oh my neck, that's a lot of midges. Oh my neck, that's a lot. <laughs> um, something that's changed about the music is, well, I've kind of answered my own question there. It has changed. Uh, so what's happened is that from five in the morning when they open until 3 30 when they in the af in the afternoon they'll you would normally play normal music from what's in the main on the uh, the CD with what you can, what you can play um, and then what happens now is there's a normal track uh, for example it might be Liam Gallagher for example and then it'll cut to a Christmas song and then another normal music piece of music, then Christmas all the way till 3.30. Then after 3.30, it's classical music like it normally is. Um, and you've got so classical music playing. So you might have a piece of music that's like five, six minutes long, and you've got a Christmas song, and that keeps going until 12 o'clock at midnight and then the spiral begins of no music Christmas music no music Christmas music uh, which is good actually because I prefer because when you when you get onto a late shift and that's like oh that's it you've just got classical music now the entire way it's nice now actually to have some Christmas music because uh, I was listening to like my Michael Bublé this this last last night and it was just so nice, like, because I really like Michael Bublé. Uh, yes, someone that likes metal music, 
I actually like Michael Bublé. I actually do. Um, so it was nice to like listen to like classical music, then a Christmas piece of music. It was nice. It was nice not just classical the entire way. It was nice. <sighs> it was nice. I quite like that. Nice. Free use of Menage. For £25 per week. Ah, nice. I wonder what that even is. I had a thought as well, like, I was thinking, like, with the Black Friday stuff and with Michael doing all this gameplay stuff and I'm looking at it, looking at it and editing it, uh, I think to myself, like, it's nice because I've done all that for, for so long I've been into that, like, gaming, like, console gaming, but now I feel like I'm at a point where I feel I can be a mobile gamer instead and, like, that's just better for me. It saves, it's better for me. It saves time. It's better for me. And honestly, like, whilst it is nice to be on a console and game, etc., like that, I find it just get, you can get quite bored of it. So like, you kind of run out of ideas to do things of things to do on a console. Whereas like with mobile gaming, there's so many games I've never played on console on my mobile phone. And while there's games I have played already. I can still complete them. So there's so much to do on my phone, so it's like I'm not going to run out of things to do. <sighs> I'm nearly approaching an hour. What is that? That looks strange. Is there some. There! There! Yeah, there! That! Looks like a post. Approaching up to an hour, 2.8 miles. Random things happen in Westvale, random things get left in mind. Random pair of tights for some reason. I'll tell you what, some, something else that's random. In Cockney Village, as you get in from the woods, someone's just left two random shoes there. Like, why, why, why? Um, I'm so glad I'm not working today. I'm really glad it's Saturday and Sunday that I'm off today. Well, I'm off Saturday and Sunday anyway. I'm so glad. There was a few customers as well that were saying like if I was okay yesterday. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm not too great, but can't just stay at home and do no. And then having a word with the manager and having full length conversations and I said I was worried because I was like, if I, if I was feeling this way I was like, would I get sacked? And there was like, you wouldn't. And I said, well if you did, there'd be hell to pay. Oh, and still stuff with random things that I've been, I'm finding. <laughs> that. Oh, mind you, actually, there's some high vis guys up here, so it might be from them. But even still, it's strange. I can't vlog on the walk, no. I can't vlog now. Don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure it's d illegal to, to park on double yellow lines. There's a van there and there's a car behind it. As you might see, if I just walk here, there. Pretty sure it's illegal. But uh, if you must fail, you must think it's legal. And at the very bottom, the Jehovah's Witnesses. Because I like there's a massive group of like, who were they? As soon as I saw the book, I was like, 